These little seedlings have a long mission ahead of them. They aren't bound for Earth, but destined for an intergalactic journey. Scientists at Plants for Space are maximising their potential to create nutritious, low-waste food for astronauts. They're often um, having to eat things that are vacuum packed and that might not be um, very enjoyable for them to eat. If we produce plants that have a full nutritional profile, it means that astronauts, when they go to space, they're able to meet all of their nutritional needs just from the plants that they're eating. These plants here are duckweed and moss. Duckweed is really great because it has a high protein content. Plants without roots limit the amount of food wasted. When we're in space, we don't want to be throwing away a lot of products. So we want to grow plants where you're able to eat and consume pretty much the entire plant. It's people like Australian astronaut Catherine bennell Pegg who will reap the benefits. Many astronauts up there crave, you know, a really um, loaded salad or something like that that is not easy. You can't have fresh salad leaves up there. Everything pretty much that astronauts eat today comes from Earth and that's something that we need to solve if we want to venture further afield. These scientists aren't just developing plants that they can grow on board space shuttles. Within the next few years, they think they'll be able to grow vegetables like tomatoes and potatoes on the moon. By simulating space-like environments, scientists can analyse how plants grow in hostile climates. Where we have complete control over the light, the humidity, the nutrients that we're providing to the plants, we grow them as fast as possible to produce whatever we want and try and keep the waste to an absolute minimum. Hoping to create a future out of this world. Ruby Littler, ABC News.